Hey, what's up, guys? Meteorologist Doug Hetty. It is Tuesday, uh, Valentine's Day. Sorry, my voice is still <clears throat> hoarse from the Chiefs game. That was a big night for me. So I think I screamed just a little bit too much. But all right, for us today, we're going to go over the showers, the thunderstorms that are going through the region. Um, we are going to get some additional thunderstorms later on today. Some of those could be a little bit on the stronger side. And then we'll look down at our next storm system, which is going to roll in uh, tomorrow night and then into Thursday. And then um, we'll take a glance at next week. It's kind of interesting what we're going to see as we go through the next couple of weeks. First off, I um, want to get a, give a huge shout out to my boy, Superior Roofing and Construction. They're a four-state premier roofing contractor, family-owned and operated located at 7th and High Street in Joplin. They did my roof. Of course, we're going into storm season. You should have them do yours too. The number is right there on the screen. All right, let's look outside. Look at the showers, thunderstorms. We need the rain. The drought has been uh, getting better across the area. It's still pretty bad on the Kansas and the Oklahoma side, but Missouri and Arkansas pretty much out of the drought. The, of course, the drought that we went into last summer so at least things are looking better look at the bands look at the rain that has rolled through during the overnight hours into the morning hours you can see this really kind of pushed in uh a little bit earlier this morning and most of this right now is uh the heaviest is on the missouri side also into arkansas but continues to work through the area let's go ahead and we'll zoom in and take a little bit of a tour across the region you can see none of this is too strong or severe but we'll kind of start south but you can see showers thunderstorms right along the state line of arkansas and then also oklahoma so this goes up to fort smith uh through northwest arkansas fayetteville bentonville uh all the way through jay oklahoma grand lake pineville anderson neosho getting all pretty good amounts of rain uh just now entering springfield and also Branson, but you can see a few bands from Mount Vernon, Monette, Aurora, Cassville. The Joplin Metro also getting some pretty good amounts of rain from Carl Junction, Joplin, downstream, up toward Web City, Carthage. And then it, it starts to lessen, or at least a little bit lighter, once you get on the Kansas side, Parsons, all the way down toward Coffeyville, Independence, Fredonia. Uh, the back edge, kind of Fredonia and the Odisha. So uh, it, most of the four-state region has about uh, uh, two more hours of rain, and then most of this will be out of here, and it should be through Springfield here at about 2, about two 3 o'clock this afternoon. Let's go a little bit farther north. You can see the rain continues right through central parts of Missouri, Warrensburg, Sedalia, uh, Knob Noster, all getting some pretty good amounts of rain, Harrisonville, Butler, the east side of the Kansas City metro. Where you see the yellows, that's where we're kind of seeing moderate showers and even a rumble or two of thunder. These extend north, northern parts of Missouri, Chillicothe over toward Kurtzville, Macon, and then stretching back Cameron, here's St. Joe. Another pretty good little pocket once you get up uh, northwest Missouri, Fall City, Rulo, Nebraska. And then it all kind of starts to lighten up a little bit once you get into eastern parts of Kansas. I do want to show you this. See this little guy right here? He's going to kick out. And then as we go through the afternoon, so all this from Wichita up towards Salina and Hayes, the skies are breaking out. We're seeing sunshine. So the at atmosphere will get a little bit unstable um, as we go through the afternoon. And as this guy shifts up toward the north and to the east, we're going to get some thunderstorms. And some of those could be a little bit stronger later on this afternoon. So let's go through time. Let me show you what we're looking at. All right. So let's go to 1.30 this afternoon. You can see the back edge of the rain is out of Joplin. It's kind of really from Springfield. Uh, it's out of Northwest Arkansas. Look at this. So we got, and it's moving out of Kansas City, but this is all sunshine. Topeka, Lawrence, Emporia, Garnett, all the way down through Southeastern Kansas. And then here's that little wave moving into Wichita. So as we continue into the afternoon, so here's 3, 4 p.m. Look at these little thunderstorms that pop up. Emporia, these are mainly going to stay north of Joplin, but uh, could affect a uh, Fort Scott, Nevada, even as far south as Pittsburgh. Some of these storms could flare up and become strong to low-grade severe 
eastern Kansas, western Missouri this afternoon. So we're kind of looking, you know, Topeka, Lawrence, Kansas City, maybe down toward Butler, Rich Hill, Nevada, Fort Scott. Uh, it doesn't look like a huge deal, but if some of these would flare up, so here's 5 p.m. kind of on the south side of Kansas City. Uh, if we had anything low grade severe, we're kind of looking at mainly hail. Um, not much of a tornado threat, but you can't ever rule that out. And again, anything severe is kind of a, a little bit of a stretch. I think most of these are going to stay strong. And then I'm going to go through the timeline here. And then these will kind of whip through and just fall apart. So here's 8 p.m. All right, so at least things start to get a little bit better. All right, let me zoom back out here. Okay. There we go. That looks good. All right, tomorrow morning, cold start. Look at this, 30s across Kansas, Oklahoma. Um, I think Joplin will drop back to about 39 or 40 degrees, mid-30s for Kansas City. Then we got our next storm system, which rolls in. So we're going to go through the daytime hours tomorrow. Look at this. Look at the temp. So we're going to go well into the 70s in Arkansas, Little Rock into the 70s. I think Joplin should make it up into the upper 60s near 70 in Springfield, Tulsa, Oklahoma City. But look on the other side. You can see the wind line here. So Kansas City only about 42. If you're going north tomorrow, uh, of course, the Chiefs are planning on so at this point in time. I don't know if they've changed anything. Uh, but the last I heard, they're planning on having their parade at noon downtown tomorrow. So if you are heading north, it's going to be near 70 in Joplin. But once you get up to Kansas City, it's going to be into the lower 40s. A lot of clouds across the region. But the weather looks okay um, for tomorrow afternoon if you're traveling north toward Kansas City for the Kansas City Chiefs parade. All right, as we go into tomorrow evening, look at this. Here we go again. So we got more showers, thunderstorms. So here's Tulsa, Fort Smith. These are not going to be widespread. These are going to be scattered. But we are going to have some thunderstorms that try to pop up as we go into tomorrow evening. Also, some of these down in Arkansas could be strong to severe. So we got to watch that. And then on the other side, look at the snow. So western Kansas with this batch of snow tomorrow afternoon is going to pick up four to six inches of snow and then it's going to put a stripe of snow really from wichita to kansas city salina topeka the heaviest though is going to track northern kansas into southeastern parts of nebraska into southern parts of iowa where there's going to be a stripe of about two to four inches all right let's continue through time scattered thunderstorms push across southern missouri again some of these could be a little bit stronger so this is tomorrow night into thursday morning at this time, we have snow from Wichita to Kansas City. Kansas City, I would not expect much, maybe an inch at this time. The heaviest is going to stay farther north, St. Joe, up toward Rulo, uh, into southwestern parts of Nebraska, where there will be a stripe of two to four inches, really from Salina right into southeastern Nebraska, two to four inches. As we continue into thursday the cold air works in you can still see some light snow kansas city north even down toward the four state area we may get some light snow showers thursday morning uh, it doesn't look like a big deal and then as we go through thursday it's just cold look at the clouds temperatures most of us stay into the lower 30s for afternoon high so it, it's it's definitely going to be much colder on thursday and friday all right let's go down the road let's take a look so the weekend is looking pretty good so we are looking at the raw data, I want to show you next week because uh, the models have had a real hard time trying to figure this out. But looking at the pattern, uh, we should have a wave that comes in around Wednesday. Uh, we do have a, a weak wave that passes through Tuesday. But this is the storm system I want to keep my eyes on. See how this guy kicks out? So this is going to be next Wednesday. And then we'll get another wave around Friday, which this model is taking it way too far toward the north. But what this is going to do, uh, let's see here. This model does decent until, let's see, let's go right to next Tuesday. It does decent with this first system right here, but it doesn't show enough moisture. But this back system late next week, it's all over the place. It doesn't know what it wants to do. 
And um, it, it's just not correct <laughs> to tell you the truth. Let's go to the European model. So this is going to show us a whole different perspective. So let's go. Here's our system now. Here's our system Wednesday into Thursday. And the new model has not come out on that one. But uh, I will get to another long range forecast. I can kind of go over that with you just a little bit because I have my handy dandy little notes. So we're looking at um, a week system next Monday and Tuesday, but Tuesday, uh, last time in the pattern, it gave us thunderstorms and even severe weather. If you remember that back in early January. So I want to watch next Tuesday, Wednesday, and then that system Friday into Saturday. Saturday would be the 25th. Uh, it gets very cold as we go into the beginning of March. We have another system on Friday, March 3rd, that looks interesting. And also that weekend, March 5th and 6th. We should get thunderstorms on Thursday, March 9th. We have another system March 12th into 13th. There could be rain over to snow. The 15th, 16th is a system. The 18th, 19th is a system. And then March 23rd and 24th could be a pretty big thunderstorm event. So I'll put that on graphics for you for tomorrow's video. But I wanted to give you an update, do a radar tour, um, and kind of show you what's going to happen over the next couple days. Of course, uh, if you have any questions or comments, leave it in the comment section below. But I hope you have a great Tuesday and stay dry. Uh, at least the sun's going to pop out here in a couple of hours.